The Mason's Apron. That's the name of this tune, The Mason's Apron. So here's Mr. McNaughton's composition. There was this king who was sitting in his garden all alone when his brother in his ear poured a wee bit of henbane. He stole his brother's crown and his money and his widow. But the dead king walked in and he said, hey now listen kiddo, I've been killed and it's your duty now to take revenge on Claudius. Kill him quick and clean and show the nation what a fraud he is. The boy said, right I'll do it, but I'll have to play it crafty and so no one will suspect me. I'll put on that I'm a dafty. So with all except Horatio, because he counts him as a friend, Hamlet, that's the boy, puts on that he is round the bend, and although he wasn't ready for obligatory killing, he tried to make the king think he was tuppence off a shilling. Got a rise out of Polonius, treats poor Ophelia vile, told Rosencrantz and Gilderstern, then marks a bloody bile, then a troop of travel actors like a 784, arrived to do a special one-night gig in Elsinore. Hamlet, Hamlet, loves his mommy. Hamlet, Hamlet, acting bomby. Hamlet, Hamlet, hesitating, wondering if the ghost is cheating, that is why he's waiting. So, Hamlet wrote a scene for the players to enact, and he and Horatio watch to see if Claudius cracked. The play was called The Mousetrap, not the one they're doing now. And sure enough, the king walked out before the final bow. So now Hamlet's got the goods that Claudius gave his dad the dose. The only trouble being now that Claudius knows he knows. So Hamlet told his mother her new husband's not a fit man. Uncle Claude but got a contract with the English king as his man. Then Hamlet killed Polonius and committed corpus delecti was the king's excuse to hand him for an English hemp and necktie with Rosencrantz and Gilderstern to make sure that he got there. Hamlet jumped the boat and put the finger back on that pair. Then Laertes heard his dad had been stabbed with the heiress. He went running back to Elsinore to sweet out, but from Paris and Ophelia with a dad killed by the man she wished to marry. After saying it with flowers, she committed Harry Carey. Hamlet, Hamlet, nay a mess, and Hamlet, Hamlet, learned his lesson. Hamlet, Hamlet, Yorick's crust, convinced that all men, good or bad, at last must turn to dust. Then Laertes lost his school and he demanded retribution. And the king said, keep your head and I'll provide you a solution. The king arranged a sword fight for the interested parties with a blunted sword for Hamlet and a sharp one for Laertes. And to make double sure the old belt and braces line, he fixed a poison sword to ban a poison cup of wine. The poison sword got Hamlet, but Laertes went and muffed it because he got scared himself and he confessed before he snuffed it. Then Hamlet's mommy drank the wine and as her face turned blue, Hamlet said, I think this king's a baddie through and through. Incestuous, murderous, damn dane, he said to be precise, and made up her hesitating once by killing Claudius twice. Because he stabbed him with the sword and shoved the wine between his lips and then he cried, the rest is silence. And he cashed in all his chips and then they fired a volley over him that shook the topmost rafter and Ford and Brosny deep in Danes lived happily ever after. Hamlet, Hamlet, end of story. Hamlet, Hamlet, plenty gory. Hamlet, Hamlet, I'm away. And if you think the song's confusing, you should read the bloody play.